Okay, so to wrap up with Belcher here, I would like to point out that I played, so 10 matches, 8 of them were against Force of Will, and I went 7-1 in those matches. That matches a lot of my past experience, actually, with the deck, is that um, you beat a lot more Force of Wills than you expect. I don't know if it's always going to be 7 out of 8, but the deck is good. You know, there was a game, I just beat double Force of Will. My opponent just had it, and they died. Um, from this list, you don't change the main a lot. Um, the sideboarding plan is almost always the same, but there definitely should be a Force Zanted in the sideboard. Um, probably over, like, the Reverend Silence or the Reanimate. Those are just nonsense. Or, like, I guess the difference here matters, but... Uh, it's Belcher. Hopefully you, like, learn some of the things to look for um, in terms of, like, you can... The, tr the real tricks are just you can play Tinderwall, you can cast Tinderwall, and then pass the turn and then untap to effectively generate a mana if you're casting it off of Taiga or Chrome Mox. Um, you usually want to sequence your mana such that you have the best left over in case something goes wrong. You sequence so that the information is minimized when you, like, get to the point. You're supposed to put your opponent in a spot where you're going to hit four mana in the best possible spot um, and give them the least amount of information about whether they need to force a will you off the mana or not. Um, and, yeah, just uh, this deck abuses information or hidden information a lot better than people think it does. Um, Belcher is a very powerful deck, and... Uh, Honestly, just like playing those matches, I wouldn't be surprised to see it winning more than it already has recently.